Minimalism is so valuable in terms of an approach to life. I've been teaching this for decades. Minimalism is not only a design vibe. If you go to the Tate Modern in London, one of my favorite art galleries, if you go to the some of the art galleries in New York City, if you go to you know, some design spaces. In Zurich comes to mind, there's an area where they have a lot of new design spaces where, you know, a lot of the high-tech companies are and a lot of the creative companies are, and they're very minimalist. So most people, when they think of minimalism, it's, it's, um, it's like an interior designer will set up an, a minimalist space. There might be concrete floors, not a lot of messes, not a lot on the walls, lots of light, lots of glass, minimalism. So for years and years, I've been encouraging my high-level clients, and you probably know I work with a lot of the Fortune 500. I coach billionaires. I've worked with elite performers in industry for going into my third decade. And I'm simply saying one of the things I've helped them understand is minimalism is not just a design vibe. Minimalism is a way to set up your entire life. You see, because here's one of the secrets of world class do few things strikingly well. Most people right now are suffering, and I use the word suffering on purpose, they are suffering from massive levels of complexity. Whether it's on the social media, whether it's diversion through, de through their devices, or they have so many friends, and they have so many books to read, and they have so many social engagements, and they, they haven't stepped back from the complexity of their lives to say, why am I doing all this? They just think it's normal. And actually, some of them have numbed themselves, and it's such so part of their normal lives, they really don't know they're doing it. And what I'm encouraging you to do is this. Remember that history's heroes were not complexitarians. They were minimalists. They had a few possessions. They had a few friends. They didn't have five homes. They didn't have seven cars. They didn't have 40,000 you know, followers you know, in terms of like the social media. These people kept it staggeringly simple. And I think that's really, really important because if you, keep, if you simplify versus go complex, what happens is you can t then take your energy and your focus and your personal resources and focus them on the few things that were, will be most important. And that's what the great ones do. They marshal and harness their resources, their mental focus, their physical energy, their personal willpower, their individual gifts, their time. I call those the five assets of elite performance. And they focus them on just a few things. And if you, I want you to think about it in your life. If you stripped away all the noise, you focused on the signal, you stripped away all the complexity, you got monomaniacally concentrated on just a few things, of course you'd be brilliant at those few things.